guarantee you that at some point, everything's gonna go south on you. Ready? And you're gonna say, this is it. What the hell? Ready? This is how I end. Commander, Mark is dead. We have to go, man. Now you can either accept that, or you can get to work. This will come as quite a shock to my crewmates. And to NASA. And to the entire world. But I'm still alive. Surprise. Here's the rub. It's gonna be four years for another mission to reach me. And I'm in a hat designed to last 31 days. So I gotta make water and grow food on a planet where nothing grows. But if I can't figure out a way to make contact with NASA, then none of this matters anyway. We've got an incoming message. My God. <laughs> Mark Watney is still alive. Woo! In your face, Neil Armstrong. There must be some kind of way out of here. Okay, so let's do the math. I have enough food to last for 50 days. He's going to starve to death long before we can help him. So, I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. He's 50 million miles away from home. He's totally alone. What the hell is he thinking right now? I am the greatest botanist on this planet. I know how to save Mark Watney. But we need the Hermes crew. We either have a high chance of killing one or a low chance of killing six. I'm not risking their lives. It's bigger than one person. No, it's not. NASA rejected the mission. So if we do this? We're talking mutiny. If anything goes wrong, we die. Do you realize how crazy this is? We had no other option. No matter what happens, tell the world, tell my family, that I never stop fighting to make it home. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to give it something socially responsible to do. Can't we just let it go? This thing needs to learn how to adapt, Murph. Alright, gang, let's mask up. Like the rest of us. This world's a treasure. But it's been telling us to leave for a while now. Your daughter's generation will be the last to survive on Earth. You're the best pilot we ever had. Get out there and save the world. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Here we go. We're here. We want to get down fast, don't we? Actually, we want to get there in one piece. Hang on. We have a mission. Our mission does not work if the people on Earth are dead by the time we pull it off. Well, we got this far, farther than any human in history. Oh, well, not far enough. Make it count. Where's the mountains? Those aren't mountains. They're waves. I'm not gonna make it! Yes, you are. Yes, you are! You might have to decide between seeing your children again and the future of the human race. We'll find a way.
300 this morning, TDRS picked up an automated navigation beacon broadcasting at two minute intervals in Neptune orbit. Neptune orbit. This is incredible. It's the event horizon. She's come back. The event horizon is the culmination of a secret government project to create a spacecraft capable of faster than light flight. The ship doesn't really go faster than light. What it does is it creates a dimensional gateway that allows it to jump instantaneously from one point of the universe to another light years away. Where has she been for the last seven years, Doctor? That's what we're here to find out. After seven years in deep space. There were 18 people on board this ship when it disappeared. I want them all accounted for. Opening the outer door. It came back. Abandoned. Any crew? Negative. This place is a tomb. But it didn't come back. Alone. The ship has been beyond the boundaries of our universe. Who knows where it's been? And what it's brought back with it. The ship is reacting to us, and the reactions are getting stronger. What are you telling me? That this ship is alive? No. I have such one thing to show you. Oh, my God. It knows my secrets. <laughs> it knows my fears. Dave, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? No, not at all. I've wondered whether you might be having some second thoughts about the mission. How do you mean? Rumors about something being dug up on the moon. I never gave these stories much credence. But particularly in view of some of the other things that have happened, I find them difficult to put out of my mind. Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What are you talking about, Hal? This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. What are you thinking about? I do what I do because of my dad. He was a hero. He gave his life for the pursuit of knowledge. Control, you getting that over? It's crazy.
crazy out there. There's fires everywhere and plane crashes. They're calling it the surge. Major, we have some highly classified information. What can you tell us about the Lima project? Its objective was to search for advanced extraterrestrial life. The ship disappeared approximately 16 years into the mission. And the commander was? It was my father, sir. This might come as quite a shock to you. Your father was experimenting with a highly classified material that could threaten our entire solar system. All life would be destroyed. We're counting on you to find out what's happening out there. I worry about you. I love you. Please begin your psychological evaluation. As best you can, please describe your current mental and emotional state. I'm feeling good. Ready to do my job to the best of my abilities. I remain fully committed to the lawful completion of the mission. If necessary, I will destroy the project in its entirety. The Earth puts hopes in him. And now, it's fate. It's on me. We have a job to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. Central, everything running smoothly. Over and out, rock and roll, God bless America. Good morning, Sam. Do you want me to cut your hair then? Lunar Industries remains the number one provider of clean energy worldwide due to the hard work of people like you. <laughs> Three years is a long haul, you know. I know you're really lonely up there, but I'm proud of you. Two weeks to go, Sam. Two weeks to go, buddy. I'm going home. Looks like we got a live one. I'm gonna go out. Okay, Sam. Tell me who that is! Perhaps.
interrupts your imagining things. What's going on? Where did he come from? Why does he look like me? You've been up here too long, man. You've lost your marbles. Too easy, too easy, too easy. I don't understand what's happening. This is my mind. I want to go home. I know. planet of outlaws my name is peter quill there's one other name you might know me by star lord who well, star lord man legendary outlaw guys forget it So here we are, a thief, two thugs, an assassin, and a maniac. But we're not going to stand by as evil wipes out the galaxy. I guess we're stuck together, partners. Are you telling me the fate of 12 billion people is in the hands of these criminals? Oh, yeah. I look around, you know what I see? Losers. But mine's giving us a chance. To do what? Something good? Something bad? A bit of both. Oh, what the hell? I don't got that long a lifespan anyway. They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. This might not be the best idea. that didn't fit into the system until someone had the bright idea of recycling us to serve science. The odds are not in our favor, but when my work is accomplished, when perfection is achieved, then what? Fly away? I know I look like a witch. You're foxy and you know it. This mission can't turn our shame into some type of glory. I can't do this flying around no more. You lied to us. You knew it. The sensation, moving backwards. Yeah. Even though we're moving forwards, getting further from what's getting nearer. There is nothing to fear. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you sick? We realize nothing is ever gonna go inside us. Break the laws of nature. You'll pay for it.
I couldn't believe it when the bartender told me who you are. Why are you talking to me, man? Your father was kept on a starship for 12 minutes. He saved 800 lives. Including yours. I dare you to do better. Enlist in Starfleet. You will experience fear. Fear in the face of certain death. Pull your chute! We received a distress call. I've been waiting for this day my whole life. This day of reckoning. Well, I've got no captain and no first officer to replace him. Yeah, we do. You are capable of deciding your own destiny. The question is, which path will you choose? James T. Kirk was a great man, but that was another life. Torpedoes. Emergency evasive! Fire everything! on the moon that'd be something we've chosen a job so difficult requiring so many technological developments we're gonna have to start from scratch only after we master these tasks do we consider trying to land on the moon Neil, if this flight is successful, you'll go down in history. What kind of thoughts do you have about that? We're planning on the flight being successful. Damn, that is a big mother. It'll go up like a half kiloton A-bomb if it blows. The vehicle's not safe. We need to fail down here so we don't fail up there. This isn't just another trip, Neil. You're not just going to work. Do you think you're coming back? There are risks, but we have every intention of coming back. Somebody got a Swiss Army knife? A Swiss Army knife? Are you kidding me? Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two. Do you question whether the program's worth the cost in money and in lives? You're down here and you look up and you don't think about it too much, but space exploration changes your perception. And it allows us to see things that we should have seen a long time ago. We have serious problems. We've got this under control. You're a bunch of boys. You don't have anything under control. This republic be split in two. My negotiations will not fail. If they do, there aren't enough Jedi to protect the republic. We're keepers of the peace, not soldiers. You know I don't like it when you do that. Sorry, master. I forgot you don't like flying. Well, you've lost it. If you'll excuse me. I 
hate it when he does that. Anakin, don't do anything without first consulting either myself or the Council. You don't need guidance, Anakin. I see you becoming the greatest of all Jedi. The boy has exceptional skills. His abilities have made him arrogant. Excuse me. I'm in charge of security here, milady. They are using a bounty hunter named Jango Fett to create a clone army. Wait. We must stop them before they're ready. Your clones are very impressive. They'll do their job well. Blast! That's why I hate flying! This is a crisis. The Senate must vote the Chancellor emergency powers. As my first act, I will create a grand army of the Republic to counter the increasing threats of the Separatists. Hasn't been a full-scale war since the formation of the Republic. You must join me, Obi-Wan. And together, we will destroy the Sith. The dark side clouds everything. In grave danger, you are. Gun this Clone War has. Seven hundred years into the future, mankind will leave our planet, leaving Earth's cleanup in the hands of one incredible machine. His name is Wally. And after all these years, he's developed one little glitch. A personality. He's extremely curious. And just a little bit lonely. But all that is about to change. Wow. to move around the cabin. Far reaches of the galaxy, a civilization is under siege. We are all that is left. They've searched the universe for a leader. Stay tuned for scenes from next week's Galaxy Quest. Never give up, never surrender. He will save us. What they got. Never give up and never surrender. We're struggling TV actors. You are our last hope. Where's my limo? <laughs> Okie dokie. And they're about to put on a command performance. Eight million light years away. We are actors, not astronauts. You are our protectors. That was a hell of a thing. Now, Laredo. Take us out. 
You gotta move to the right. Would you sit your ass down? You wanna drive this to- Acting like heroes. The whole thing was just a misunderstanding. May not be enough. They look like little children. Hi, little guy. I'm done. DreamWorks Pictures presents Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, Alan Rickman, Galaxy Quest. You're just gonna have to kill it. Well, go for the mouth to throw his vulnerable spots. It's a rock, it doesn't have any vulnerable spots. I'd like to know what you feel uh, as far as the responsibilities of representing mankind on this trip. That's uh, relatively difficult to, to answer. Uh, it's a job that we collectively said that to, was possible and we could do. And, and of course, the, the nation itself is backing us. So we just sincerely hope that we measure up to that. Apollo program was designed to get two Americans to the lunar surface and back again to Earth safely. The enormity of this event is something that only history will be able to judge. Apollo 11 has very simply been given the mission of carrying men to the moon, landing them there, and bringing them safely back. I can feel it in here with a Okay, I'd like the colors done. I don't know. Go for landing. Go for landing. Over. I'm back, right?